How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're going to be doing some Halo 2 classic swap playlist in, in, in the MCC. If you don't know, this playlist was just implemented into the MCC and I really want to play this because this is where SWAT originated was back in Halo 2. So let's give it a go and see how it plays in 2018. Alright, so it looks like the first map we got here is on Colossus. Like I said earlier, Halo 2 was the first game to actually create SWAT. Now I'm quite 100% sure if it was created as a matchmaking game mode or if it was just a community playlist that people like or a community custom game that people like to play because uh, obviously you're trying to, I'm trying to recall something that happened like 14 years ago essentially. I, I might be a little fuzzy on the details on that but I do know it originated back in Halo 2 and so again to play some classic Halo 2 playlist for SWAT it's just it's such a member berry right now. You can, like, I'm really excited to get a chance to play this. So far I am the only person on my team that has kills right now which is two. Okay, we're, we're doing really well this game, guys. On a map like Colossus, it's kind of tricky to do SWAT on for how large it is, and the lines of sight are rather long, and there's so many angles to get shot from that. I would kind of surprise that they actually chose this map to be one of the maps to play on. Oh my god, the guy's rocking right around the corner. I'm not able to reload. Okay, there we go. We're, I guess we're dealing with some pretty good lag in this one. I do want to say I'm recording this video at like 9.30 p.m., on a Wednesday night and I was able to find a match almost instantaneously once hit in search. So this map is certainly pop it's game mode I should say is certainly populated. Oh I see you, I see you friend. There you go, you did. Oh, there's another one. And also I'll let you know this game mode is currently a social place. It's not ranked. Which is probably good just for matchmaking sake since it is gonna be just a temporary rotational playlist. Though uh, hopefully, if this does get a really populated uh, response from the people in the Halo community, they could make this potentially a full-time playlist, and maybe even with ranks, which would be cool. Uh, they've even mixed in some objective modes. I guess, and this is the first game I've played. Game I played, and I can't believe we traded on that. But uh, this is the first game I've played, so hopefully we do get a chance to get some objective games and like mixed in with this playthrough as well. I've never really played swap with objectives. It's really only just been like team slayer. So it'd be kind of interesting to see how like SWAT objective modes play. I heard someone said in the comment section uh, last video saying that uh, Reach actually had objective modes mixed in with SWAT, which was certainly interesting. I would like to certainly give that a go. I mean, I think also using a DMR as like the main weapon was uh, probably a good choice. So these, I feel like that weapon worked out really well for SWAT. I don't know how I didn't get that flash headshot. We're gonna get a headshot on this guy right here. Watch. Here it comes. Here it comes. No! <laughs> wow, that guy can eat bullets like a champ, but we got him anyway, so that's good. You have to watch your angle so hard, especially on a map like this. Just because you can just get cross mapped with this battle rifle. Guys over there in blue. Can we cross map him? Looks like he got picked off. Let's try and get over to the blue side. I think that's where they're spawning at. There's that left sound. Here <laughs> you're dead, sir. Actually, one of my favorite. Uh, game types actually for SWAT back when in, back in the Halo 2 days was uh, playing a mode called SWAT. It was a game mode called SWAT Guns, which is basically you had battle rifles and you also had shotguns. Or if I can remember, actually if I remember correctly, it could have been just uh, just shotguns, which actually is a kind of a fun version to play of SWAT because it just extends the range of the shotgun so much more than you the intended use. So it kind of gives it like a fun kind of different experience for sure. This guy is just peeking like crazy. I can't hit him. <laughs> the spread of the battle rifle is not like, helping me out there one bit. Oh, we got that guy down. We can pick up some more ammo on this battle rifle. Oh, there's a double. Can we get the triple right there? He's going to peek around the corner? Nah. Okay, fine. It's all about your angles when it comes to playing SWAT. All about your angles and knowing exact... Map knowledge is so key when it comes to playing this game mode. Understanding the spawns, knowing the popular angles to look out for because if you're like a especially on a map like this if you're a newbie to SWAT it's gonna be very unforgiving me I know the spawns rather well to the point where I am able to get shot from a guy I know exactly where they're spawning from this is a really slow game it just seems like my team is kind of confused about how to go about playing this while the other team had one guy quit out uh things are a little tricky right now oh guys i'm getting shot I'm getting shot getting shot <sighs> get your boy oh i couldn't get him that's kind of surprising i was laying right into him watching this one okay i heard left okay my team went up left here i'm gonna be watching the spawns here placing your reticle is so important when it comes to the SWAT as well like right there my reticle was like lined up you want to keep your light reticle like right on the edge focus right on that edge of every corner you're going around when you're playing SWAT because a split second can mean life or death when it comes to this game mode. Which is really kind of a fun kind of twist on the whole Team Slayer deal. You can see me right here, I'm just minimizing my angles and pushing forward on this guy who's over here. 
And we pick him off like that. See, I had minimal, minimal movement with my reticle I had to do right there. And I was able to pick him off pretty easy. There's another kill. Okay, good. Another one over here. That's another one. There we go. What? They keep spawning over in blue. I like this. I can go for this. More of this, please. Yes. Let's spawn back in red. Oh. And that is a win. 23 kills. Carrying the team there to victory on Colossus. Oh gosh, we have midship to start out with this one. Okay, we, you know, we gotta aim right across the map to see if we can get any double kills or multi kills going on with the beginning of this game. Or we'll just get melted right off the bat. We'll see how this goes. Right up, out, now. Oh, whoa. Okay, I wasn't expecting this spawn. I was kind of expecting this spawn on the base. That's a little different. Now, <laughs> one I feel like SWAT has its ups and its positives and its negatives as a game mode as a whole. Uh, positive being, since, which is since the time to kill is so quick that um, any player, like the solo players can do, don't have to struggle so hard against, you know, a full team. Don't get me wrong though, if you're playing against a party, you probably will get smashed in SWAT. But I'm saying that since the time to kills are so much easier, that uh, it makes it much more of a easier, I don't say easier, but like a, a more forgiving experience for a solo queue player, so that's why. A lot of people as you could probably say they probably enjoy SWAT plus the whole idea of having to have that one shot headshot that snap quick accuracy that's absolutely needed for this mode to be just somewhat decent at the game like right there and like not you gotta have map knowledge too and knowing the spawns and being completely self-aware at all times because like right there spawn me in the middle of the map you're probably gonna get killed just like that there we go now the thing though i don't like i, I do enjoy swap but as again another time i really don't like it because of how the quick times to kill like that and that um you kind of lose the art of the dance if you want to call it that when it comes to playing uh, halo and getting those gunfights because you know your your accuracy your strafe your mobility throughout the map is so important where i feel like in swat it's all about knowing spawns predicting locations and having that snap quick snap accuracy and how the hell did that guy not kill him uh certainly a benefit as well is to be wearing a headset when it comes to playing swat because if you are you can actually kind of listen in on the gunfights here where people are spawning where people are walking and stuff like that to where so it can really be a benefit to you to be using the audio of halo to benefit your abilities and doing better in the game Give me overkill. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me the over. Of course you wouldn't spawn, damn it. Got you though. And also since this map is so small on midship, you really can just kind of camp out a location, hold it down, stay in good cover, and you'll probably be doing all right. Because if you get caught off guard like I just did right there, I was in cover to make it way more difficult for that guy to try to come by and kill me. Uh, right there. Whoa, that guy bodied those shots. Oh no, I was reloading. Ah, oh, the pain. Oh, well, they spawned right on the open. Oh, how did I get that headshot game? You're killing me here, literally. And they've kind of rotated around. Pick out that guy. Where's another one? Give me another one. Like that, right there. Yeah, give me that. Oh, shoot. Oh, coming from behind. There we go. Got him right there. Oh, but cross mapped right there. See, that's the thing about Swan Midship, man. You're going to get cross mapped as soon as you spawn. And game puppy bottom mid. Are you going to be kidding me, man? Like, what kind of spawn is this? What kind of spawn is this? Luckily, no one was looking bottom mid. As you can tell from that last game, SWAT games can go very quick. Since it's still to 50 kills, but since the time to kill is so much shorter, games can go very quick as well. So that's also kind of actually kind of a benefit, too, is that just quick, snappy games. They don't really feel like you get dragged out or anything. Besides Colossus, which, you know, they were playing kind of slow, guy quit out as well. And so we have Sanctuary, capture the flag this time around. So we get to play on objective mode. So capture the flag should be rather interesting. This might be a bit longer of a game just due to, I feel like it'd be quite hard, difficult to move through the map with being SWAT. That's my first time I ever trying to play capture the flag with SWAT rules and PRs. So it'd be kind of interesting to see how this plays out, but you know, hopefully it works out well. I'm interested in playing it. Ugh, yeah, I got rocked pretty quickly there. The spawn times are super. Same thing as regular Team Slayer, though, so it's, it's going to be quite difficult to push forward, especially since one guy can take on an entire team in one single clip. I have a feeling this might just be like a dragged out Team Slayer, but we'll see. Did they grab our flag? They literally grabbed our flag. They're playing the flag, it looks like. Yeah, we got the kill there. We got to get this flag back in our base here. Let's return that bad boy. There we go. Oh, we got see. That's the thing, though. <laughs> Cap 
dropping the flag is going to get you killed, probably. Or, or trying to return the flag. I don't even know if there is a return flag ability if you're staying on it. Hopefully there is. I would think so. Oh my gosh, they're in our base. Okay, did not know that. Spawn, still spawned at our base even though they were just here, so I have no idea where these bad guys are right now. Oh, nah. -uh. All right, we cleared them out pretty quickly there. I'm going to check rocks. It's a very popular spawn point right there. Either you'll see guys spawn at the base, at rocks, or in rocks over here or on the other side, which is called courtyard. Oh, and they're over in rocks. <laughs> he saw me stand there, so I was trying to anticipate his movements, but he definitely went the other direction. Or double back to kind of threw me off. And I got you back there, friend. I am ring three? You guys were sweaty in here? I guess his name is Chris the Sweaty, so yeah, that would make sense. Ring three is such a huge advantage. If you can get up the ring three on this map, it'd be such a... Ooh, we got a double. Nice. <laughs> you only see is the top of the head, but that's all I need, sir. That is all I need. Now, one thing I definitely just noticed right now that compared this map to Refuge, this section right here on the map is so much taller. You can actually use this. Like, no wonder it's called like it's famously known for the Walshy spot because of how large that co the wall is as for cover. But they really minimized that when it came to Refuge. And I think that also this map. Plays a lot better with Classic Halo compared to Refuge. Refuge, I feel like in um, this, the HES playlist, it's very much of a standoffish kind of game. It's why they had to make separate rules for that map to work for, especially in CTF, because of like how spread open the, the map is. Like they practically basically kept the same amount of cover that's on the map, but they had to spread it out to make it, you know, so then you can sprint without having to be across the map within like two seconds. The thing is though, they didn't add more cover. They just kept the same and just elongated everything. So then makes it makes getting picked off very easy on Refuge. Or in this map, you can see like every quick square inch there's or almost every foot there's some kind of rock you can get behind to use for cover you kind of cover your back to make sure you're able to push forward and do uh you know aggressive maneuvers oh gosh <laughs> he tried to fight just to try to kill me it looks like it it didn't work out friend i'm sorry and though i do but the thing is i do like the map refuge in halo 5 I just don't feel like it plays super well for CTF. For Slayer, it kind of plays the same because uh, I always found that Slayer on this map was kind of more of a standoffish kind of game mode where it's very strategic based, almost kind of like how C kind of like playing Team Slayer on uh, Lockout is as well. It's very much about like st being strategic with your locations, you know, waiting for the power ups to pop up and then move forward, which is kind of a nice change of pace. I can't believe are they gonna score on us right now. I'd be so surprised if they do. Like all those guys I remember watching, like the uh, MCC, like pro league stuff. What? Oh, I can't believe they got a flag cap on us, man. I was gonna say, if you guys remember watching like the pro, like HCS MCC streams, like when I was actually really excited whenever Lockout would come because it would always go time limit. It would always be a super close game, like 35 to 32 kind of thing. And. It just provided a different kind of gameplay. Now, the thing is uh, that we created really tense moments that were like a single kill can make or break a game. Where if you're playing a really dragged out, intense, really dragged out version of time limit kind of game of say Refuge CTF, it feels just kind of like it's getting dragged out unnecessarily, but it's been playing unnecessarily long. Because at least in Slayer, you're getting, you're scoring to, you know, progress the game forward where in Slayer if we're playing CTF and no one's scoring and the game goes time limit it feels like everyone just kind of wasted the time and the fact that you had to make separate rules for refuge I does not not a big fan of that I feel like if you're gonna have rules for like CTF you want them to apply for every map in every game mode basic rules I just kind of done with my rant on refuge there I still like enjoy the mode I just think there could be better choices so right now we have three minutes left in this game we're down by one flag cap can we pull it off we can get those headshots to count we can you really have to be super coordinated with the team to make this work when it comes to SWAT CTF and uh, my team of randoms uh, with no communication it makes it a little trickier let's just say the least let's just say that you know Gotcha, dude. <laughs> oh, we're pushing up. We're pushing up. We're going for it, guys. We're going to get in the base. We got another kill. We got another kill. At least touch the flag. We touched the flag. 
Ah, damn. This Chris is sweaty guy is really sweaty, and he's being very Chris-like right now, and it's very upsetting. That wasn't a headshot. You gotta be kidding me, game! Sadly, we got the loss on that one. We got the L. Chris is sweaty. Really dripped the sweat all over us that game. <laughs> I mean, like, he was very serious. He was a ring three bro. Like, he was jumping out there. He was getting sweaty. He was living up to his name, at least. I gotta give him that. So, anyways, guys, that's a little bit of a taste of how Halo 2 Classic Team Swap plays for you guys. A little bit of objective mode, which is certainly interesting, especially on the, that map. But uh, you can see that the hit detection is working quite well giving me those classic feels of what it's like to play SWAT back in Halo 2 where it all began for that game mode. Hopefully if this game mode is super popular, they'll bring it back as a ranked playlist. I think it'd be super awesome because I think I always feel like SWAT's been in very like, competitive mode where it's not, uh, social doesn't really fit it too well. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to tap that like button so you want to see more content like this. Leave a comment down below if you had a chance to play the new SWAT playlist in the MCC. I do read all comments and try to apply the most of them as well. If you're new to the channel and stay up to date with anything Halo related, well tap subscribe with the bell to keep you notified every time we do anything awesome on the channel, which is going to be every time. Check out the videos on the screen right now. If you missed anything from me, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.